Gypsy Rose Blanchard is finally out of prison and on parole. She had been serving a 10 year sentence for second degree slaying in connection with her mother, Dee Dee Blanchard's passing. Gypsy was granted parole in September and her release date was scheduled for today, December 28th, three years earlier than expected. This case was the subject of an HBO documentary and a scripted series on Hulu. Dee Dee was accused of forcing Gypsy to pretend to be disabled, holding her hostage, and even tying her up when she tried to escape. Dee Dee suffered from Munchausen syndrome by proxy, a mental disorder where someone fabricates illnesses or causes harm to someone for attention or sympathy. Now known as fictitious disorder imposed on another, it is suspected that this disorder is what caused Dee Dee to lie to her friends, family, charities, doctors, and even Gypsy herself, convincing everyone her daughter was severely ill. Dee Dee went as far as to convince Gypsy she was unable to walk breathe or eat normally requiring a wheelchair, feeding tube, and oxygen. When the Blanchers arrived in Missouri in September 2005, Dee Dee told neighbors their apartment in Louisiana and Gypsy's medical records were destroyed in Hurricane Katrina. The local Habitat for Humanity built a pink accessible home for them in Springfield. Before the pink home's completion in March 2008, the pair lived in temporary housing in Aurora, Missouri. The community rallied around the family, hosting charity events, giving donations, and sponsoring Gypsy for trips and medical care. Multiple doctors expressed concerns about Gypsy's health between 2007 and 2009, with one suspecting Dee Dee suffered from Munchausen syndrome by proxy. In February 2011, Gypsy attempted her first escape from her mother's home after meeting a 35-year-old man at a science fiction convention. According to Gypsy, Dee Dee punished her severely after this escape attempt. In October of 2014, she confided in her neighbor about her online relationship, saying she was in love with Nick Kojan and the two were planning out a future together. Nick Kojan met Dee Dee and Gypsy for the first time at a movie theater and planned to watch Disney Cinderella. They met at the theater with Gypsy dressed as Cinderella and Nick as Prince Charming. Although the couple managed to sneak into the bathroom for their first intimate encounter, the meeting didn't end well as Dee Dee didn't like Nick upon their introduction. Gypsy later said that her mother's punishment after this incident led her to begin pondering escape from Dee Dee via desperate measures. Nick, Kojan, and Gypsy began plotting this together, and on June 9th, 2015, Nick traveled to Missouri to meet up with Gypsy. This time, he checked into a hotel room and waited for the cue from Gypsy indicating Dee Dee was asleep. That night, he went to the Blanchard's house and was given gloves and duct tape by Gypsy. Gypsy's then boyfriend, Nick Kojan, attempted to slay Dee Dee to help Gypsy escape. He is currently serving a life sentence. Gypsy was released from the Chillicothe Correctional Center at 3.30 a.m. local time, according to the Missouri Department of Corrections. Gypsy Blanchard and her boyfriend, Nicholas Kojan, were arrested in 2015 for the slaying of Dee Dee Blanchard, who was found in her Springfield home. Gypsy Blanchard, now 32, grew up believing she suffered from conditions including leukemia, muscular dystrophy, vision and hearing impairments, and seizures and underwent multiple surgeries that were later deemed to be unnecessary. Dee Dee Blanchard allegedly lied about Gypsy's age, making her appear younger on documents. Gypsy Blanchard said her mother kept her weak, isolated, and dependent on her, and said her mother became more controlling as she got older. She physically chained me to the bed and put bells on the doors and told anybody that I probably would have trusted that I was going through a phase and to tell her if I was doing anything behind her back. Gypsy Blanchard told ABC News 2020 and 2017. 
Gypsy Blanchard said she eventually grew more curious about the outside world and she made a dating profile and began an online relationship with Nick Kojon. She said her mother got jealous because I was spending a little too much time and attention on him and she had ordered me to stay away from him. Gypsy told ABC News she wanted her mother unalived because I wanted to escape her. During the trial, the prosecutors had already offered her a deal due to the harm she had suffered. She pled guilty to second degree in 2016. Initially, she was facing a first degree charge that could have resulted in a life sentence. In court, Nick's trial attorney, Dwayne Perry, argued that his client, who has autism, was manipulated due to his intense love and obsession for Gypsy. Prosecutors, on the other hand, argued that his motivation was driven by a desire for intimacy and a relationship with Gypsy Blanchard, whom he had met on a Christian dating website. According to the probable cause statement, Gypsy provided thin and hid in a bathroom while Nick reportedly her mother. Eventually, they both fled to Wisconsin by bus where they were arrested. While Gypsy is now enjoying some newfound freedom, Nick is still convicted and serving a life sentence. Despite this newfound freedom, Gypsy has expressed her regret for her mother's end and has stated that she felt more liberated behind bars than living with Dee Dee. She is now looking forward to attending a Kansas City Chiefs game with her husband Ryan as they manage to get tickets for the December 31st game. Gypsy hopes to meet Taylor Swift there. What an ending, but let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Make sure to like, comment, and share, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.